The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, well, Basil Chapman on this Thursday, January the 20th. This is the 8.06 a.m. edition. It'll be replayed at 10. I wasn't sure I was even going to be able to make it at this time, but here I am. Good. I'm so pleased about that. The Dow futures are up 112. Dow closed yesterday at 36,028. I'd said in my show that 35,000 really was the key support level. Why? Because if it took that out, the next thing you know, We've got 34,543 as the 200-period exponential moving average support. After these, look at this. From the 13th of January, I think that was a week ago. Yep, exactly a week ago. We've only had red candles. Down, 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 down. You would expect some kind of an oversold bounce. Uh, we had it yesterday. It didn't last. Today, I think we want to see the exact opposite. Some, some weakness. It looks like we're going to repeat the same uh, pattern. But in fact, what happens is we try to rally and we have a, li a little bit of an up close. My thinking here is that Monday, um, after the weekend, it depends on how we close tomorrow. But Monday is where there's the first real attempt to form some kind of a, a V-shaped bounce that has legs to at least have three to five sessions with an upward bias. I'm not sure if that's going to be the case. It's really important because this weekly chart, if we go um, a little lower on a closing basis on this weekly chart, that will become a peak E. It won't be an alternate count. That will become a peak E, and that will say we're about to test over the coming uh, two weeks the whole area of 34,500 uh, to 34,200. This is a rising inside track propellant zone. It better become that, otherwise it becomes a repellent zone. Whatever way I look at it, it seems to me that we should continue this choppy, choppy, choppy action, rotation through different sectors, even if there is a bounce in the very oversold uh, NASDAQ-type stocks. Uh, people are starting to talk now about China, but I still say, hey, we've got enough problems here. Why would you want to go to Chinese stocks? Uh, there's just such a, a huge risk. All right, let's get back to our story. So we're looking at the Dow futures. Let me just go to the actual futures themselves. This is pre-open. This is an hour and, and uh, 20 minutes before the open. We're looking at the futures up 110. Look at all these red bars. You would expect some kind of a green bar here, and then maybe continue to test the left side futures um, low. Oh, this is a continuous contract of 34,547. Uh, what did I say? 30, it can't be 35. must be 34. 34,547. In this arch formation, look, I drew this in a little while back, and we're still in this pattern, an arch formation. It's very difficult to change that unless it goes sideways, and then that starts to usurp some of the downside energy, but also kind of usurps upside energy. So here we go. Uh, that's the that's the um, the Dow the, the S and P. This is a continuous contract down 17 at uh, up 17 at 45.41. Also made this very big arch formation. Let me just draw this in here. I've got smaller ones, but I just wanted to show you what we've got. There we go. Look at that. So the negativity that I've been uh, displaying over the the last couple of weeks. Um, that really is part and parcel of patterns that we're looking at. Look at this up channel in the S&P, took out that support line, uh, but the week is still young. We've still got a day, two days, full, two full days to go. So let's wait until Friday's close. But in the meantime, what we're looking at here in the S&P cash, look at the way the uh, shorter term up channel support is just wiped out look at that big red candle macd's lousy stochastic 25 percent that's terrible in the daily on balance volume is getting now a little bit oversold so there could be a bounce at any point uh, but the nine period has already been for four days um, negative 
in the daily. The weekly chart is so close to a sell signal that it could be upgraded to a sell mode. I suspect that we're going to get a peak B into February, the end of February in the monthly chart, finally. Uh, this is just speculation. We have no idea, but that's just speculation on my part. The QQQ and the X100, uh, just about on the uh, on the 200-period experiential moving average of 364.71, straightening um, 366 was the close uh, yesterday, 366.48. It's up 271 pre-market at 369.19. Um, and look, this is, there's no way I look, can look at it and not say that is a peak G uh, alternate count in the weekly chart at the high of 408.71 made on the 22nd of November. And it's already a peak G slash C in the monthly chart. This is already in a sell signal in the weekly chart, it could by the by tomorrow afternoon, this could become a sell mode in the NDX 100. And we've got Netflix tonight. Let me show you something very interesting. Look, Netflix um, has just been going down. It's wormed its way to the downside. 799 was the little doji candle peak G high um, on the 17th of November. And it's just tumbled since then. Sure, there could be a, a bounce at, at this point, but I would suggest to you that the daily sell mode, the weekly sell mode, and the monthly sell mode actually is going to be very difficult to overcome regardless of what the earnings are. And I just hear more and more people talking about Netflix, but there is so many choices now. The other thing is for... So a program like uh, for here in Boston area, w, it's not W anymore, it's called GBH, that's public uh, TV. Um, those shows that were continuous week after week after week, you can now watch them all in one show. This is bastardizing their, their programming. I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to have to find some other formulas. It's going to be real tough, and the competition is just getting more and more intense. I, I don't want to take time now, but I've spoken about this as being the Hollywood, when Hollywood went from New York to Hollywood back in the 20s because of the the technological changes, and then Hollywood became the film uh, mecca. Uh, we're, we're seeing the same thing now with all these different shows. There is just an incredible amount of um, of entertainment, of anything that you want to watch. I don't want to talk about that. Maybe tomorrow on Technical Friday I'll get into that, and we can look at some of these uh, um, some of these stocks that you know that are in the media area. But in the meantime, let's go on. Let's go to the IWM, the IWM, the Russell 2000, uh, trading up 75 cents at 205.20. Horrible, horrible pattern. It like the dollar went underneath that long rectangle. And it's underneath it now. What should happen is that there should be an attempt to get back into the 210 or higher area. It's trading at 205 right now. It went down to 204s yesterday. Um, and then it's going to be real tough to really sustain a move in this whole rectangle in the 212, 218 area. Probably we'll have to test the 200. That's going to be the big test. 200 to 198. Um, can the Russell 2000 hold in that area? It had been doing fantastically since around about April. It was at 207, a low, uh, and now we've got up here. That's the rectangle. Let me just show you the dollar here at the bottom. The dollar, the dollar is up. It's a right. You get two went under the rectangle. I'll be back on the official show this April in the morning. I'll be back in a few minutes. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. 
Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So I, I, I got someone sent a statement saying, Hi, Basil. I just listened to your Wednesday show. It's surprised to hear you say predicting support levels at the Dow is futile. I could see the boring mutual fund manager saying this, but technicians um, that promote ha having tools to time the market down to a one-minute chart level, I would think could offer a strong opinion on where support levels should be based on these processes and tools. No, I think you misunderstood what I said. What I said is to make a statement about a particular level and think that that's it, that the market is looking at your chart and sees that 35,000 is really important that was what I was saying is absolute nonsense you can say that that's a support level but that doesn't mean to say the market is going to take note of it and I had mentioned yesterday 35,000 when the Dow was up in fact I said the Dow 35,000 on a near term basis was really important and lo and behold what was the low yesterday 35,000 and what was that 68 or something 35,000 uh, and 28 um, so that's what I mean, uh, that it, it is transitory, because what you have to monitor is how does it act? Um, I mean, come on, I, I've spoken about support levels for months and months and months. Didn't I talk about the IWM uh, for seven, six, seven months? I've been saying that that 207, 210 level is going to be really important. And then look what happened. We went under it. So what I'm saying is that the market is futile because the market doesn't know it. But we can keep it in our minds as to really important. That's what I do. I've done it. I made a call on the Dow for, for over 40 years, every single, every single market, just about every single market day. <laughs> of course, I look at levels and I think of them as either important or not important. But I'm saying the market doesn't know that. I know it. So that's my point. Okay. Now, I wanted to show you something here. Wow. Where was I Ed, before I got interrupted? Um, I wanted to show you. Yeah, I had a question about Alcoa. No, a statement saying Alcoa came out with earnings. They're up a little bit. They're actually up 2.4% and up 144 at 61.07. This is one that we had in the 17s. Never went back. And here it is uh, going to a new recovery high into the 64 area. Uh, it went down to the 58s and now it's up $1.44. Now, this, 
tomorrow. Let me let me remind. I'll I'll make a note of it. I'll do it tomorrow. AA analysis. I don't want to spend time. There's an alternate count. This could be a D right here, but it's got a Chapman wave, unconventional flat base restart. It says within the next two weeks or so, there should be a test of the 58s to the 57 level. All right, just let's get out of that. Let's go to gold because it's really important. Gold now is uh, down just two points. Uh, uh, 1841 had a spectacular breakout. Uh, don't tell me I'm not mentioning important levels to monitor on, in the market. We spoke, the reason why subscribers to my opening call went longer gold stock the other days because I was looking at the way the 200 period moving average. I said, look like it looks like a spit uh, um, on the barbecue. Uh, you've got your 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 uh, rod or whatever it is. Um, right here, the stick, and then you've got the, on either side, you've got trading up and down and up and down, and that there should be a break above this chap move inside track repellent zone because it should become a propellant zone. Wow, is that a propellant zone in this 1800 area, 1807 area? Here we are in 1841. That's a nice breakout. Got an alternate count, D slash B. Look at the uh, GDX. GDX went right to where? Don't tell me we don't talk about support and resistance lines that are really important. It stopped dead. We're right on the 200 period moving average again. So you can see I'm getting a little worked up here uh, because you've got to listen carefully. You can't just you can't listen to part of something and then kind of extrapolate it. Um, absolutely, these are very important levels. Does the market recognize it? Well, sometimes it doesn't know that it's recognizing it, but it did. It stopped right there at the 32.79 level on the 200 period moving average. Look at silver. Silver itself was acting very poorly and then had a really strong move just above the 200 period moving average and now it's slightly above. That's really important because it's done that before and then it's gone back down below it. Well, this is only a leg C. Being a leg C in silver says it should go to at least a leg D. Weekly chart is still looking lousy. Monthly chart is looking terrible. But the daily chart is making that beautiful cup-shaped pattern. And what we're looking at here is that the candle that I'd be looking at for resistance will be the candle of the 22nd of November. 24.99 was the high. 24.18 was the low. Here we are, 24.27. We're just into it. Uh, let's go to high-grade copper. High-grade copper. There we are. Uh, improving. It looks like a stair-step move in a big cup formation. It's improving because it's now up uh, 0.04 at 4.51. Uh, it looks like a stair-step move. Hey, why did I not? Yep, that's a B. A, B, C. It should go to leg D above 4.6010. Now, next thing we're looking at here, and then the questions came into the den. Where's support in CLF? Uh, we're going to the uh, steel. This is Cleveland Cliffs, flat roll steel, iron ore pellets. Um, horrible move. A, a questioner wanted to know earlier on when we were right there that day, I believe it was. Uh, at, on the 5th of January, up in the 2467 area, I said, it's looking good, but there's something not right here. And I would take some profits, and, and this person got out of the position in the 24s, and here it is at 19.55. Actually, 19.66 is up 11 cents pre-market. I, I, I think that you've got to be a little careful here. It is. Steel will be back in fashion, but I typed it. It must hold this whole area. That's the area below 19, between 19 and 17. If it gets into that, that's going to impact the weekly chart from the rectangle formation and the monthly chart. And I think later on, SLX, this is the steel ETF, which is holding well. It's telling me that a little later on, maybe sooner rather than later, steel will become an issue um, for buyers, and that includes X US Steel. Look at that terrible decline, um, smash yesterday to the downside. They'll be back, but you've got to be very careful and very selective. New Core, uh, which is one of the great steel companies, got just smashed from 126 down to 104 in just two weeks. Got to be careful there. All right. Uh, can you talk about OMCL? O O M C L. Omni something. Yeah, Omnicell Inc. Well, under the 200 period moving average trading at 151.98. I'd be really careful of this because it's making the dreaded H and taking out the left side low decisively at 151. I'm just going to say the candle of the week of um, 
October the 1st with a high of 156 and a low of 146. That's kind of the area that you're looking at. If it closes under 146, that's a big problem. I suspect it's getting real close to coming back to test the 155, 200 period moving average, even if it should go down. What you want to see today is some kind of a doji candle, a rally attempt Friday, maybe into Monday. But if it starts to close under 149, that's a big problem. A uh, question came up here. Uh, I read the right is headed back to the October 21st. I don't know. I didn't say that. Um, if you have time, I'm looking at that. Sophie. So yeah, I, I listened last night uh, on CNBC. Uh, I think, was that with Kramer? Yeah, I think it was with Kramer. Uh, Sophie, technology, SoFi, technology is digital financial service with mobile applications. Well, the CEO was just... I mean, there is nothing that this company could do. I wish I quote you. Very often I quote them and I put it in and, and some, the price goes down. But I, all I can say is only at 41. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. We're back, and the Dow futures are up. Uh, sorry, the SP futures are up 18, right? The one month charts are stop, stopping right at the 200 period expansion moving average. I I suspect that today there will be a successful up close. Um, we are extremely oversold in any way you look at it. Uh, there just has to be some kind of a re relief rally. It's really Monday, Tuesday of next week that I'm really looking at what happens. Is there some kind of a V-shaped, uh, another another move that says we've got another maybe a week or so of, of, of an up move before we do more retesting? Um, I, I am a little worried here about the IWM. Remember now, I'm saying that the IWM, that's the iShares Russell 2000 ETF, 
has taken out key support. Uh, if you want to do a one-to-one -one to the downside, <laughs> that says, yep, we could go back into the 192 uh, area. I, I, I don't want to go that far other than to say that the, the close yesterday, two closes actually below the key support level is really not a good sign. But the week is young. If the week by Friday afternoon, we're back in about uh, the two, uh, 208. Eight or 209 area, they kind of saved today a little bit. Look at the dollar. Remember the pattern we were looking at? And I'm saying that I think that the dollar, there's a chance now that the dollar comes back to retest the 95 area, so 95.61. Um, that's going to be important, and that's going to help uh, gold move a little higher. Oh, gold is now up up $2. That's a good sign. Uh, that's exactly, exactly the action we wanted to see. Didn't know if we'd see it. We wanted to see that this follow through to the upside today, even if it doesn't hold. I wanted to see a higher high than yesterday. We've got that so far. And that's really helping the weekly chart. Uh, crude oil. Crude oil is very close to resistance here. You see the little doji candle from yesterday. See it's down 39 cents at 86.39. This whole 86s area. I was working with someone over the weekend. We were talking about the about certain certain parameters that you can start to use um, in, in, in just on a purely technical uh, way of looking at uh, markets. And I had said, well, also look at the way double tops have been forming in every single medium. It doesn't matter where sector, whatever it is. Look at look what happened. That 85.65 high of October of 2018 plunges down to 7.61. Remember when, when futures went negative? And now we're up at that 85.39 area. So yesterday's high was 86.31? Uh, 86. 86.79. So we've gone above, just to get above it. But this is the whole area. You've got you've got much higher highs going back to 2014, up in the 120s. Not the point. The point is you go to the left side high of significance, and that was the high that was made right there in October of 2018. So at this particular area, now we have an oil service stock is done absolutely fabulously. Um, we lightened up a lot on our entries into different areas and we have our core positions we've taken money off the table we've got built up a cash position we are trying to get ready for the next decent 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 um low that's made a uh, question about the gdx gdx is trading at 33.06 right now i want to see it push above this 200 period moving average uh, and I, it needs to do, see, I like this leg C to continue for about two days. Then we can get a pullback in leg D and it'll turn the whole area of 3650 to 3610 into some kind of a support area on the daily chart. Uh, let's just get out of the monthly. The monthly is, is improving, but it really is not a very pretty chart. Neither is the weekly, actually. So the GDX, the gold miners. I don't want to skip anything. The TLT is so important. What we're looking at in the TLT um, uh, is it's up 40 cents at 141.49. Uh, so what I am looking at here is if you go to bonds, James Bond, uh, if you're looking at bonds, yep, this is the second green candle. Days Young is down at 132nd in a leg after the downside. I would suggest to you, based on the MACD histogram starting to improve, based on the W formation in the stochastic, based on the on-balance volume, um, that we are getting ready for some kind of a bounce in the TLT that will impact the XLF um, negatively, even though bonds smashing like this with yields going up should have had the XLF up at the recent highs. We've seen the move from 41, about 41.66 high, made five, four sessions ago down to the 39.25 low of yesterday. That's that's not what you see. Not only that, remember what I always talk about when markets are very weak, the history for years and years and years has been for, uh, for money, to the outflow, for money to exit, the volatility of equities, usually volatility means down, of equities and go into the safety of bonds. This is the first time we haven't seen it, which tells you that the the impact, the force of the upward move in yields 
is really powerful. So now we've got a potential peak E in the TNX. Uh, we'll see what happens here. This is really important. Leg E in the weekly, only a leg C in the monthly chart. That is the TNX. But if you look at the TBT, which is the inverse of the TLT, this is the ultra short Lehman 20 year Treasury bond ETF. This is possibly at a peak E with a high yesterday, going from the from 15 up to 18.683 on the uh, 60, 18th. And, today, and then yesterday was a, a down day. So today's action is going to be really important at 1844, down a little bit. Um, do we start to see a bit of a turn in the TBT? Do, do yields start to pull back a little bit? That's going to be important. A couple of things I also wanted to mention is that, yeah, question, Martin. I did not have any reading in my chapter with Trin Gage to say it was either overbought or oversold. And that just tells me this is the same old same that we've got. Uh, the market, the tide has turned, and therefore we're not seeing it reflected uh, every day or so in the in the trend gauge, which should be either over uh, very low or very high, and it's just been kind of mediocre in the last couple of days. So I got no reading whatsoever. Now let's do this. I had a question. Would, do you mind going over your over your uh, Fang type stocks? First of all, let me do Fang, which is Fang, which is Diamond back. Energy. I've got this in peak C, the same as the stock that we have um, in our in my opening call for subscribers. Peak C it should make a leg D, and then I think we start to see some kind of a pullback. Um, so Diamondback is trading at 123.90, down a dollar 81. Yesterday closed at a dollar 25 after making a 132, no 131.75 uh, recovery high uh, on the 18th. So we're looking at some kind of choppiness now uh, in the um, in the in fact. Now let's go to Facebook. Oh, it's going to be tough for me to talk about Meta. So talking about Meta, though, um, maybe tomorrow I'll talk about it. I remember years ago my son saying there's this whole thing um, about um, make believe stuff on the web. Uh, you can actually buy uh, like a house that you don't own but it's on the web. And you can furnish it, you can do all, you can sell it, you can do all sorts of things, just like real life, except it's made up. So now that's a real universe. Facebook is called Meta Platform. And give me a break. It's Facebook. Facebook trading at 440 at 323.99. Made an all time high at 3. Oh, oh, break. At 384.33 on the 3rd of September of 2021. It's already been down to the 300 area. And it's spiked up to the 350s and it's trading now at 319. This is that big digestive phase we can talk about in the major big cap area. So that's Facebook. Let's look at Google, Googie, uh, Googie, also same thing. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, this is the early edition because I, I, I'm not going to be here for my show, so I, I was able to do it at 8 o'clock to 9. It's 8.42 a.m. right now. The futures are, the Dow futures are up 134. S&P futures are up uh, stronger. They're up 21. And we're looking at Google. So Google's got a doji, a beautiful doji candle. You know, I don't use too many candles. I've made up one or two, and the rest are, are classic, like the tiny plus sign doji candle, or the long one I call the long-legged doji. Uh, and doji candles can either be halfway markers or reversal points. Wow, what a reversal point it was in Goog, uh, which is called Alphabet officially. I like to call it Googie. Um, and it made a high of 2936 back in the th week of the 3rd of September. Look at that beautiful doji candle. It plummeted under the 14-period moving average to 2600s. Then it spirals up to the high of 3037. Yeah, 3037 in November the 19th of 2021. And now it's trading way down to the 2713 level. It's made a beautiful arch formation. It had a, a Chapman Wave dreaded H right there. But the whole thing itself looks like an arch formation. And it makes this left side low of the 8th of uh, October, week of the 8th of October of 2623. Absolutely key to hold. Uh, that's not too far away from here, but that, that's going to be really important. Uh, we're looking at um, uh, L, um, Apple. Apple, a uh, fantastic company, but it has rolled over in the dreaded H pattern at 182.94 was the all-time high. Look at this. 182.13 was the high back in December. Then, back, then uh, three weeks later, it makes a high of what? 182.94. These double tops are absolutely amazing. Remember, I've always said that patterns repeat over and over like fractals. They don't know that one thing is an apple and the other is maybe crude oil. They have no idea, but the patterns repeat. And this is repeating. Look, there's the dreaded H, failure pattern. I went underneath the left side low, and that's just saying... Apple in the daily chart is in the sell mode. The weekly chart could be close to a sell signal, making it a peak G alternate count. And leg G uh, slash C in the monthly chart, nothing to see in the monthly. So it looks really good. But we start to see some deterioration. Uh, what do we got? We got Amazon. Amazon is close to um, the left side low. In fact, has it taken it out? Uh, that was the left side low of the week of... Uh, the 14th of May at 31.27, made an all-time high of 37.73 on the 16th week of the 16th of July, and it's trading right now 31.47, so it's just 20, 20 points above that left side low that was made um, back in April, May. 
Uh, if that's taken out, there's a chance we could even see Amazon, because let's face it, the major selling period is over for Amazon. That's going into uh, into Christmas time. And uh, we, we're looking at 2881. Not a big deal. So 30, which is 300 points, 10% lower from here. But what that does is it changes the week. And one of the reasons why I've been saying be really careful here is that the rolling over in sequential motion of each sector, and I would put AA, Alcoa, in the aluminum sector as being probably the last one, and it hasn't rolled over yet. It's still close to the uh, uh, most recent recovery high and the 6406. What was that? 64, 64.37 was the high on the 12th. Um, and it's trading now with earnings uh, up $1.41 and 61.04. So there's going to be something to watch. And it says that if you usurp energy by rolling through the different sectors, it means you don't get that uh, Joe Granville type 90, 95 to 97% of the market plummets when there's a major, major sell-off. Um, that would be different. It would be one of those rotational corrections. And I'm saying I think we're looking more at that rotational correction for the, the simple reason that S&P in leg B still has to go to a peak. B means a whole month of a lower high than whatever the high was on the left side. Then another month where it goes to a higher high for leg C, then another month where it makes a peak C, then another month for a leg D. This is if everything works sequentially, and it hasn't so far, month by month. But once you start to break down, that could happen. So it doesn't tell you how high you can go. You use other techniques for that. But it says there should be higher highs in 2022 to get your leg D, at least a peak D in the shaft wave buy mode, is a minimum that you get in a buy mode. And we're in a buy mode. So I'm suspecting that somehow, some way, we make higher highs and make it as simple as that. I can give you, I could extrapolate, I could give you price projections. Doesn't mean a thing just yet. Let's see, we haven't even made a peak B, so I can't even talk about those projections. Uh, questions came in here, a bunch of them. Uh, let me just see. Alibaba, B-A-B-A. -A. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm hearing about uh, China uh, interest rates, I think, uh, dipped a little bit. It's helping some of these um, high flyers in the Chinese market. Alibaba Group, of course, is the, what is this? Is the uh, Alibaba, is that the Amazon of the Chinese? Yep, the Chinese Amazon. Um, but it's, it had an all-time high at about 320. Exactly what was it back in June? No, October of 2020, 319.92, trading down at 127. I would say that that's, that's pretty beat up. Yes, you can get bounces all the way. I'm not sure it's made the low for another big move to the upside. It's trying to form a base between um, 132 and 122. If it closes under 120 in the next two weeks, that says, uh-oh, just be really careful of the Chinese sector. Uh, okay, what did I want to do? I did I did the um, Apple, etc., Amazon. Um, Adobe, Adobe, a fantastic company. Also, uh, this is a pretty big, what is this, IBD just popped up. China stocks rally. Netflix earnings due late today. Yeah, we'll see what happens. 518.44, Adobe up $1.86. Look at this. It plummets, a fantastic company. It plummets from the 800, 699.54. Chapman with two bar reversal on the 21st of December. And that's it, she said, as it's trading now at 516, 518. Um, yeah, trying to form a base, but if you look at the MACD and stochastic and the weekly chart, um, that says it needs time before it can make a, a base of consequence. And the monthly chart, I've got this as an alternate count, F slash C. And it's it, the monthly chart really looks like it's going to be, a, by the end of January, it could be a sell signal. Maybe even an upgrade immediately to a sell mode. I'm not doing anything. I'm just saying Adobe is a fantastic company. It's just been beaten from the 700 area down to the 500. That's 200 points. Um, this is one that you want to look at for 2022. But later on, questions came in. I think I missed them. I'm sorry. Uh, questions came in. Uh, let's see. Yeah, earlier on, uh, can I post the VIX, the VIX dot X? The Vic, 
The VIX right now is trading down 91 cents at 22.94. There's another reason that, look, the VIX has been pretty high and the market's been coming down. But the VIX has not given me a signal that says, uh-oh, this is so overbought that we should get one of those major weekly collapses. I'm not there yet. And I suspect that until we get some kind of 24.50, 24, 25.80, maybe even touch 26. I don't think we're done going down. It doesn't have to do that. This is a VIX, to, to predict the VIX index is a very difficult task. And all I can say is holding the 20s tells you that there's selling pressure all the time. I'll be back in a moment for our final segment. Uh, Bowser Chapman, early edition, 8.50 in the morning. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, so a question of the Dan, uh, the humble Meekin wants to know, as this is Pixie, P-I-X-Y, could make big moves this week. Number one, short squeeze stock, uh, 99 rating on... Fintel now, yeah. So this is this is really there's nothing here other than the short squeeze. P I X Y trading at dollar seventy eight up eleven cents. That's six point five nine percent. So it's in a leg D. It's gone above the two hundred period moving average. It can't hold so far. Um, uh, yesterday couldn't hold, but today it's nicely above it. It's at one seventy nine. I suspect that this could pop even to the uh, one eighty eighty five ish area. 
But be careful because if it suddenly slides back again, it says that um, it is transitory. That means that you treat it as a stock that you just you get in and you get out. You take a profit and you try to do that a few times. Uh, maybe you, if you get in low enough, now it's a little too much because it's in leg D. But a little lower, you try to keep a core position and then you just keep trading around another you treat it as if it's it's like a, an atm machine and you just keep taking your money off and you try to hold as little as possible because when it goes back it goes back really sharply but i suspect that it's going towards i wouldn't be surprised if it has one quick pop to the 20 uh 201 area which is the high of this of the week of uh, 6 of august that's p i x y uh picks well, short short picks short pixie inc yeah, something like that. All right, so let's do this because I'm just about to wrap up and this will be recorded and played back at 10 o'clock for my usual time. I'm so pleased I was able to do it. I thought I wasn't, but I was. So we're looking at the Dow, INDU. The Dow right now, the future's up 142. Uh, so that puts it in the 35,100. I would just say to you that if between 12 and one o'clock, if the Dow is holding nicely above a plus 80, maybe a plus 100, and then it pulls back. But then all of a sudden, 2.30 to 3.10 this afternoon, Eastern Time, there's another bout of buying. I think we can have a nice close to the, for the first time in quite a while. But I'm a little worried going into Monday of this coming week, what happens, and we'll see what happens. I'll be back tomorrow for my regular time. Check out my opening call. Thank you, Stella. Uh, we raise cash. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors